Statins, also known as HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, are a class of medications used to prevent cardiovascular events in patients with cardiac risk factors and abnormal lipid profiles. They are most effective in reducing LDL cholesterol via several mechanisms. There are naturally occurring statins, as well as synthetic statins. Atorvastatin is one of the synthetic statins and has a relatively longer plasma half-life compared to the naturally occurring statins. The pharmacological effects of atorvastatin are due to the reversible inhibition of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. To understand what this is, first let's recall our knowledge on the cholesterol synthesis pathway. Cholesterol synthesis takes place in the liver by using acetyl-CoA as the precursor molecule. At first, one acetyl-CoA molecule is combined with one acetoacetyl-CoA molecule to form HMG-CoA, and then, HMG-CoA is converted to mevalinate by the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. This is the rate-limiting step in the cholesterol synthesis pathway. Ultimately, mevalinate is converted to cholesterol after several steps. Atorvastatin and other statins reversibly inhibit HMG-CoA reductase enzyme and reduce cholesterol synthesis in the liver. In addition, reduction of cholesterol synthesis will activate a molecule called sterol regulatory element binding protein 2, which diffuses into the hepatocyte nucleus and induce gene transcription to synthesize more LDL receptors. Increased expression of LDL receptors will lead to increased LDL uptake by the liver and reduced blood LDL cholesterol levels. So, in summary, Statins will reduce LDL cholesterol by about 25 to 55 percent, increase HDL cholesterol by about 5 percent, and reduce triglyceride levels by about 10 to 35 percent. Atorvastatin and other statins also have pleiotropic effects. These effects can be either beneficial or harmful and are not related to the main pharmacological action of the drug. The mechanism of these effects are somewhat complicated and related to the intermediate products of mevalinate pathway. Luckily for statins, there are many beneficial pleiotropic effects. Some of them include the following. Improved endothelial function and reduced vascular inflammation. Reduced platelet aggregability. Stabilization of atheromatous plaques. Increased neovascularization of ischemic tissue. Antithrombotic action. Enhanced fibrinolysis and protection against sepsis. However, atorvastatin and other statins inhibit germ cell migration during fetal development. Therefore, statins are contraindicated in pregnancy. As mentioned earlier, statins are mainly indicated to prevent cardiovascular events in people at risk. They are given for primary prevention of arterial disease in diabetic and renal failure patients with elevated serum cholesterol levels. They are also given for secondary prevention of myocardial infarction and stroke, especially in angina, transient ischemic attacks, and following a myocardial infarction or stroke, along with antiplatelet agents such as aspirin and clopidogrel. Additionally, they are given to patients with Alzheimer's disease and prostate cancer. Statins are taken per orally, usually at night, since the maximum activity of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme is during nighttime. They are well absorbed from the GI tract. They have a low bioavailability since the primary site of action is the liver. For this reason, only a small amount of the drug reaches the systemic circulation. Once in the bloodstream, atorvastatin is highly protein-bound. The drug is predominantly excreted in feces. Therefore, it is safe in patients with renal impairment. Statins are well tolerated by most individuals. Mild adverse effects of statins include the following. Abdominal pain, diarrhea, muscle pain, insomnia, and rash. Severe side effects are rare and include hepatotoxicity, rhabdomyolysis, especially when administered with fibrates, and angioedema.